Well, hello everyone. Uh, it's Wednesday night. Uh, the soup station here at Greenfield just closed. Our guests have gone. We had quite a few in tonight. We were able to help them and hopefully wherever they are now, they know God's protection and care. Um, I was thinking, perhaps you're wondering, those who have passed Greenfield recently, where the Christmas tree is still at. Uh, good question. Uh, we decided that because it was such a lovely tree this year, to take the lights down and to, and to leave the, uh, the Christmas tree up. It's a, it's a reminder of the ongoing message of Christmas, is it not? So as you pass by, it's not that we haven't taken it down. It's just that we think, well, it's such a nice tree. Let's leave it up for a while. And of course, there is an ongoing message for Christmas. Christmas is now well and truly over. We're in the middle of January. We're in a time of great concern as this pandemic uh, rages around us. The statistics that have been given tonight have not been good. And we pray that our doctors and nurses will know the strength and the help to be at the side of those who are helping and supporting those who are in such need. We remember those who are bereaved and those perhaps who are very anxious about families and friends, unable to get to see people as we would like. The times are difficult and hard. And perhaps as it's raining now, and as it's a bit stormy, and as we look around we can see that the darkness is really with us, the message of God's light remains in the midst of the darkness. I can't help thinking that we need to know that in a very real way, you know. We may be feeling down, perhaps we feel like tonight, stormy, it's dark. And the darkness always has that sense of fear because the darkness is something that we do not want to experience because we'd rather, much rather be in the light. The Bible says that Jesus, the light of the world, has come. And he is the one who lightens our darkness and gives us hope for each new tomorrow. I pray that you will know peace tonight. I pray you will know that God is with you. In whatever situation we find ourselves, he is there. But the news on when I go home now, and probably the news won't be good. More reports about the pandemic, the restrictions, the increased restrictions that obviously we have to adhere to. But we thank God for the vaccine, and that is good news. What's going on in America at the moment? Who would have thought that the land of the free would be such a situation where there is so much turmoil and despair at the moment? Let's pray that they will find a way through this, that reconciliation and peace might come at last. One of the prayers I used to pray as a little boy, Lord, keep us safe this night, secure from all our fears. The angels guard us while we sleep till morning light appears. It's a lovely prayer, and I pray that that will be your experience tonight. To know that even in the midst of the darkest hour, that we are under the protection of God. Psalm 121 says that the Lord neither slumbers nor sleeps. Do you know, if I don't get my eight hours, I can be quite grumpy. <laughs> More grumpy than I am normally. But God doesn't slumber, he doesn't sleep. In his care, in his compassion, in his goodness and in his love. And you can know that when you know Jesus and his love for us. Traffic's going by here. I know it's a bit noisy. I hope it doesn't interfere too much with the, with the words I'm sharing tonight. But more than anything else, dear friends, as this tree symbolises the incarnation, God is with us. And may his love forever surround and keep you as his child. God bless you. Amen.